Well, good morning, it's great to see you today. It's Thursday and it's the 6th of October and I've just been out, picked my granddaughters up, took them to school and I had to be really well wrapped up this morning because it's cold out there, a bit windy, <clears throat> a bit grey. Uh, welcome to autumn, autumn well and truly is here and there's all the conkers are on the floor and there's some the horse chestnut trees, wow. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> definitely autumn has arrived. I can tell from the weather there. Okay, so uh, yesterday I started again and we did, started in Romans 8 verse 31. What sh shall we say about the wonderful things as these? If God is for us, oh, what a beautiful verse. If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Verse 32 says this, since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us won't he also give us everything else? <clears throat> Since he did not spare his, even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? This is a tremendous verse, this. I mean, I mean, the Bible is tremendous anyway, because it is the word of God. It is the inspired. It's with the divine inspired word of God, written by people, but divinely inspired under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Not one verse in this is wasted. Not one verse. Everything, everything in it is useful. Everything in it is, is, is useful for us. This is our handbook for life to learn about how to live. And, and if, if when we need to go for, to advice, this is, should be the first place that we go to. Since he did not even spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Struck me about this. I was speaking to someone yesterday and they were saying about what is about suffering. What about suffering? And um, I said, if God, you know, some, and you hear this time and time again, if God was a God of love, why did, why, do, why do people suffer? Why doesn't he, why doesn't he do this? Why doesn't he do this? Why doesn't he do that? Why doesn't he do the other? Well, this verse really clearly shows this. It says, since he did not even spare his own son, and and you know, this is not the fact that God said, son, I'm ordering you to go and do this. You know, because it's Jesus, God didn't just, the Father didn't just order Jesus to go and do this. Because God is one. It's one God. It's three persons in one. They have the same nature. They have the same aims. They have the same purpose. It's like a, like a family, but they have, the same, they have the same nature because God is love. And so God, uh, you know, Jesus would have said, I'll go. It's almost like that, almost a sense of that eyes I hear, you know, here I, yes, yes, Father, send me. I'll go, I'll do it, I'll do it. Why? Because of the great love. See, God, when Jesus died on the cross, when he took the punishment for our sins, God made a way. And this was the first time I said, you know, Jesus had that perfect relationship with God. He was going around having great communion with God all the way through his life on this earth. But at that moment, um, um, maybe he didn't, because God could not look upon sin. And, 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 and Jesus said that, my God, my God, why have, you, why have you forsaken me? And you know, so Jesus, God knows what it is to suffer. God knows what it is to suffer because his own son, who had been there for forever, uh, in eternity, he didn't have to do this. He didn't have to do this because he said, well, I've given the Ten Commandments. You know, what, what, what more do I need? What, you know, I, we would say, like, what more do you want me to do? What more do you want me to do? I've given the Ten Commandments. It's simple. Follow them. Get into heaven. No, it's because of God's great love for us that they put everything on the line for us. Jesus came to this earth to live. Emmanuel, God with us, walking in our shoes, living, going through the things that we go through, the emotions, the difficulties, the trials, the trip, all those kind of things. And eventually <clears throat> dying <clears throat> a cruel, painful death on the cross. In agreement with the Father, he said, yeah, not my will, Lord, but your will be done so that we can have life. And if God would do that for us, God, in, in, and, and it's like I said, three persons in one, same nature, God is love. If they do that, they would, they would, they would, um, would he also give us everything else. Why is that? Because we've been adopted into his family. Because of what Jesus has done, it, you know, if we were just following the commandments, it was just kind of like, it was just kind of by, by rules and by rote, you know, just following things by rules. But actually now what Jesus has done by us, die, by him dying on the cross and being raised to life, we dying to self and allowing the Holy Spirit to come and live within us, we have now been adopted into his family. We've been made sons and daughters of the Most High God. 
he's, and he's given us his Holy Spirit. He doesn't just say, yeah, there you go, son, get on with it on your own. No, he's given us the Holy Spirit, which is a deposit, which is a guarantee. So when you put when you put the thing down for a house, or when you go and put something down, a deposit for when you want to buy something, you put a deposit and he's just saying like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow through with this. That's what that's what it that's what it means. And he has given us his Holy Spirit, which is the deposit just to, to the, the, actually what he said he's gonna do, he's gonna do, he's gonna bring to fruition. In us, that's a big word, isn't it? Fruition in us. That the one day we will be see him, we'll be like him, we'll be made perfect, we'll have a new body, um, free from sin and decay and all those kind of things, but we'll be like him, we'll be in with him in heaven. So if God even God didn't spare his own son for us to have life, how much more is he gonna carry through his promises? Because God's fame pr promises are faithful and true. God always keeps. His promises and if you're here today and you're thinking like you're going through it um, well good in one sense because that's how you grow you grow through tough times I don't mean it harshly but when you go through difficult times that you do grow we don't like to go through difficult times no one likes to go through tough times but the fact is the truth is that we grow more because we can become more dependent upon God um, but in there's that, that verse, Psalm 23 says this, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I wouldn't farm any, fear any evil. Because you go through the valley and you come out on the other side and you go into green pastures. And this is what God wants to do for us. God has done for us because of the death of Jesus on the cross. And he's given us his Holy Spirit as a deposit that what he said he would do, he will bring it to completion. Praise God. Hey, listen, I hope you have a great day today. Take care. God bless. See you again tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.